What's up guys, it's Nate Dog Mac. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to look at a couple quick ways how you can start investing in FIFA 19 and still be very, very smart about it. Um, there are a lot of cards right now that are very cheap and that are very undervalued for what they will eventually be. Uh, so I, I want to take a look at some of those cards today and how you can possibly build a starter team um, out of investments um, and put be able to play with some good players in the game and also look at some major coin gains later on in a couple weeks when there's weak and league demand and when the full game comes out when there's a lot more people on this market uh, first of all I just won this Benatia on a bid for 17,000 coins and he's going for around 25 so I'm gonna list him up really fast that'll be a very nice flip late night bidding always very good um, I've been watching um titty as well um, he's had some I've had some uh, very close calls with him getting some nice bids and uh, then relisting them. So this is the team that I'm rocking with what right now and talking about investment wise there are just a couple players in here that I really think are going to go up um, into that first weekend league hype uh, when the full game comes out. They're going to start trickling upwards in value from now until then. Um, as you just want to watch their price, of course, uh, monitor their price for a couple days, and if it starts to go up, then maybe go in on one and, and snatch one. But especially this Tony Cruz card, I got him for 40,000 coins, and I mean, I just thought it was too cheap, which I still think, I'm, I'm making 10k on this card right now, he's sitting at 50k, and uh, I looked back, you can use Footbin now, Footbin is up and running, it looks awesome, let me pull it up right here for you guys, we'll go over to Footbin, um, and I'll show you guys this. The, I have it on dark mode. You can switch between dark and light. That's a new feature of Footbin. Um, the biggest thing is this live feature on Footbin here. You can look at all of the games uh, that are going on in the next days uh, with all the popular leagues throughout the world. And they will uh, include ones to watch cards in here um, when when that stuff is going on. So that is absolutely incredible of uh, Footbin. So that is really cool. But um, if we go back and if we go over here to Footbin again, if we go to Tony Cruz. Um, we can look at his FIFA 18 card. This is the base 90 rated Tony Cruz from last year. So I want to look at his price graph. Um, here we go. So at the beginning of FIFA last year, Tony Cruz was 54,000 coins. That was during early access on the Xbox. And he went up to, he was still 54,000 on the release date when the full game came out the 29th first weekend league he was up at around 68 to 69,000 coins so he was almost 70k he jumped up about 15k from where he first was so Tony Cruz this year got a 17 pace upgrade he has the same pace on his base card now um, in FIFA 19 that he did on his team of the season card in FIFA 18 so he's got 67 pace he's got 67 pace now so um Obviously this card's going to be worth more than it was last year, especially with how the game feels. You need players with really good passing, and for me, Tony Cruz has felt spectacular so far. So that's why I invested in Cruz right away, because I knew his price was too cheap. I knew I could easily build a team around him with other investments that I was eyeing, and this, I just put him on my transfer list, thanks for the laggy menus. Um, but Goretzka is another one. I'll just pull him up right here. He's got fantastic stats. Um, and I got him for 30k, which I mean, you could get him for a little bit less right now. I think he's going for somewhere around 35k, but he is going to go skyrocketing out of packs once the wants to watch promotion uh, comes up. So let me check his price really fast. Yeah, so he's up at right around 35, 36k, which is about where he's been chilling the last couple days. So I got mine at 30, put him in my team. He's going to go up, but I also get to play with these guys, and that's what's really cool about this. You get to play with the quality guys in FIFA Ultimate Team and start out with playing with fun players. You're not playing with non-rares. I have a fitness team down here with a bunch of Colombians, which I really like them. This team plays really well for me, actually. This Belanta card is insane. So good. Cheap beast. Um, also, another guy that I think is sort of an investment is Mariano. He's 80 rated, so he's going to get packed a lot, but I think he could get a ones to watch card. Um, and also Coman. Uh, Coman for an 83 rated card. 83 rated left uh, wing, left mid in the, the Bundesliga for Bayern. That's a green link to Goretzka. So people who want to have Goretzka in their team, 
I think they're gonna want Coman too on the wing. That's an easy link, and he's also French, so it's an easy link that you can get to a striker as well if he if you need to get him another link. So I see Coman as a great investment play. Ten thousand coins, um, and there's other left wings in the German league, the Bundesliga, like Royce, like ba uh, Bailey, uh, but they're just not to the quality that Kingsley Coman is. I mean, if you look at his card, he's got five-star skill moves. He does have a three-star weak foot, um, but he is blazing, blazing fast on that left side for me. I've played a couple of games with him already, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys this idea that if you find an, a card that's just kind of, that's just too cheap, um, and a cup and like if you're if you were able to snipe one of those uh, Fred cards before they updated his price range to 20k oh my gosh he's extinct 20k now but when he was extinct at 10k if you got one and you're holding on to it make a team around him throw uh, Chris Smalling and Luke Shaw they're both pretty cheap uh, in the back behind him and then you can have a nice triangle there of three Manchester United guys where you will be able to uh, invest with your Fred but still use a quality player and have fun with that card uh, while you're investing in it. So that's what I would say to you guys if you have the chance to invest in cards that you can also play with Do that because it's almost like double dipping and it's gonna be more fun for you um, As a player of the game one thing I also want to talk about is big news is coming to the channel um, You will you guys will see very soon. So make sure you follow me on Twitter at Nate dog Mac FIFA big news is dropping here very soon I'm super excited to talk about it super excited to show you guys hopefully this video helped you out It was really simple Really quick, but I want to just kind of talk about some of those things. When you see something like that, um, I feel like it could be really good help to you guys out there watching. All right, boys, it's been Nate Dog Mac. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.